morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity supplements, about health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, we'd love to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs, which we update regularly, regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. And you can order products right off the website there as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off any of the websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products or Truth Skin Health products, you can go over to truthtreatments.com and take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. No preservatives, no fragrance, no waxes, no surfactants. It'll last you six months if you use as directed and your skin is going to look awesome. Not because of me, but because of retinol. Actually, not even because of retinol, because the skin is designed to look awesome. It's If you give it the raw materials that it needs, including vitamin A in its retinol form and vitamin C for that matter, your skin will do its business on its own. And that means looking good. That means less wrinkles, less dark spots, less acne or no acne. Check out all the Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hormones, and we're going to talk about hormones now for uh, probably for the next couple of weeks. They're so important. Next to the essential nutrients, the enzymes and the hormones are the two most important. Well, I'll say the enzymes and the hormones are the two most important biomolecules. The essential nutrients are important to get in the diet, but as far as what the body makes, it's the enzymes and it's the hormones. Those are the two most important chemistry chemicals in the body, biochemicals in the body, the enzymes and the hormones. And problems with both of these, both of these categories of biochemicals, enzyme issues, deficiencies in enzymes, as well as hormone problems. Problems making hormones, problems detoxifying hormones. These are big, big, big health issues. In addition to micronutrient deficiency, hormone health and enzyme health and hormone deficiency and enzyme deficiency are big factors when it comes to disease and when it comes to, when it comes to less than optimum health. So we're going to talk about hormones, what they are, how they work, and what we can do to improve hormone health for the next few days. There's so much silliness. There's so much nonsense when it comes to, well, when it comes to lots of things in, in terms of health that we get from the mainstream. But when it comes to that word hormones, there's so much misunderstanding that is perpetuated by the mainstream medical model, by the mainstream media, unfortunately by alternative healthcare practitioners as well. So in the interest of clarifying this muddy and confusing subject, here's a Here's a few bright side tips, bright side key points from, uh, about hormone health. For one thing, you want to be very careful about trying to improve hormone health by taking them as drugs, even if they are so-called 
bioidentical, which doesn't exist. That's just marketing jargon. And in my opinion, there's no place for marketing jargon when it comes to our health. This is so egregious. I know we live in a capitalist society. I'm a capitalist myself. I don't have a problem with that. But when it comes to our health, to, to, to make health, health supplements or health chemicals or health strategies, commodities, is just not fair. To pollute good health and the concepts of good health and the ideas of good health with marketing and with advertising is rude. And we see this every night or every day on television with cartoons and with animated figures and, and, and celebrity endorsements telling us about the drugs to take. There's a got kind of Arnold Palmer and Kevin Nealon and some race car driver whose name escapes me telling us to be on this powerful blood thinning drug, Zarelto, as if we should be taking health advice from Kevin Nealon or from a race car driver. Why? Because they're celebrities. And this commodification, this advertising that's associated, this marketing that's associated with medication is so unfair. And nothing, nothing speaks egregiousness. Nothing speaks rudeness more than the marketing of these powerful chemicals called hormones. Hormones are amazingly powerful. When I was compounding hormone creams in uh, my compounding pharmacy, which I hated doing, by the way, especially estrogen cream, I would use microgram doses. If I was off by even 10 micrograms on an estrogen cream, I could cause side effects, uh, obvious side effects like jitteriness or, or cysts or nodules, and less obvious effects, likely cancers, because cancer is caused by excess amounts of estrogen. If I was off by even a grain, like uh, just picture a grain of salt, that's probably about five or 10 micrograms, that's probably about five micrograms. If I was off by that size amount in a, in a uh, month's supply or an ounce jar of cream, patients would, would get side effects. These things are ridiculously powerful. Even the microgram amounts that I was formulating, those, a microgram is a millionth of a gram. That's like, that's like taking a teaspoon of hormone, dividing it up by five million times. Can you picture this? This is the amount of estrogen that I would have to put in, a, in an ounce of cream. And I was off by a little grain, a tiny grain of salt, uh, the size of, t of a grain of salt, we could cause side effects. But even that, even that amount, even that millionth of a gram amount is humongous compared to the levels of hormones that float around in the blood. The reason we didn't really know about hormones until the early to mid 20th century is because we didn't have the detection devices to spot them. They're in the blood. First of all, they're in the blood only quickly, temporarily, for blips, fractions of a second, and then they're deactivated. That's how hormones work. They're active for fractions of a second and then they're deactivated. So when you take a hormone as a drug, now you're swamped this deactivation system with, this, with the amount of hormones that are in a drug that's thousands upon thousands of times greater than the amount that's in the blood. And they're staying in the blood longer. This is the biggest problem with, with prescription hormones like estrogen, like Premarin, which is estrogen. These are fake versions of hormones, and the body doesn't clear them out anywhere near as effectively, and this is what accounts for toxicities associated with prescription hormones. The levels of hormones that float in the blood, though, those are ridiculously small. We're talking trillions of times smaller than a gram. They're measured in parts per trillion. Can you imagine this? A part per trillion is like a drop of water in six miles of railroad cars. That's the kind of concentrations we're talking about that these things are active. And they're ridiculously powerful even at that infinitesimally small, unimaginable, unimaginably small concentration. Then you take a prescription hormone, you completely overwhelm the body's hormone detoxification and hormone processing system. But you don't need to take hormones. You don't need to take prescribed medication hormones to improve your hormone health. That's the good news. You can upregulate and support your own hormones at home from the comfort of your own living room. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We are back on the bright side. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, Ben Fuchs Archive, 
benfuchsarchives.com. You can order Longevity products off both sites. You can also go to my blogs, uh, criticalhealthnews.com, as well as pharmacistben.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren who set those up. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off of the websites, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open. Please try to call in early, and we'll get to as many calls as we can. hate leaving people on hold. If we've left you on hold in the past, tell our call screener, and we'll put you first up. Okay, so we're talking hormones and hormone health. You don't need a prescription drug to improve hormone health. Hormones are super, super, super powerful. When you take a hormone as a prescription drug, you're taking thousands upon thousands of times the amount that's in your system, that's in your bloodstream. Hormones are are measured in the blood in parts per trillion, which is unimaginably small. You can't even picture what that's like. Yet they're, they're so active, they are the most active and most important biomolecules in the body, along with the enzymes. But you don't need to take hormones as drugs to improve your hormone health. You don't need to be prescribed estrogen, or even for that matter, progesterone, or thyroid hormone for that matter either. Hormones are in our control. We control our hormones through three major uh, routes, through three ways, through three, uh, through th- there's three things we can do. There's three uh, roads to access hormonal health and to support hormonal health, if you will. Our thoughts, our feelings, and our food. Yes, every thought you think gets converted into a hormone. If anybody ever tells you they don't believe their thoughts create reality, explain to them this link of hor- uh, between hormones and thoughts. We think a thought, we make a hormone, period. It's as simple as that. We think a thought, we make a hormone, and from that point, we make our bodies. Thoughts, hormones, bodies in that order. Crappy thoughts, crappy hormones, crappy body. This is not some airy-fairy kind of hippie new age idea. This is just biochemistry. You think a thought, you make a hormone. Ladies, if you're going through menopause and your estrogen has dropped, think sexy thoughts. Think fertility thoughts. Think youthful thoughts and your estrogen will go up. Your fertility hormones will go up when you think fertility. Now, I'm not saying that you can go from being infertile to fertile just by thinking, but you can absolutely upregulate your growth hormones, your fertility hormones, your healing hormones, your happy hormones by thinking along those lines. And for that matter, the opposite is true too. The reverse is true. You will think stress hormones into activity. You will think stress hormones into production. And that means a body that's not absorbing its nutrients. That means a body that's not digesting. That means blood pressure changes. That means blood shunted from your creative centers in your brain to your reptilian brain. Just by thinking via this hormone connection. Feelings the same way. Emotions are linked to hormones, which then create your body. Did your healthcare professional tell you this? This is just flat out biochemistry. This is not some kind of, this is not my opinion. This is not some kind of spiritual new age talk. This is biochem 101. You think a thought, you make a hormone. You feel a feeling, you make a hormone for better or for worse. And then the third element where we control our, uh, where we control our hormones or the third element that controls our hormones is our food. It's our thoughts and our feelings and our food. And you could probably throw in respiration and breathing into the mix as well. Between thoughts slash feelings, and I always consider to be thoughts and feelings to be uh, two sides of the same coin. So we'll call it thought feeling. Every time you think a thought, a feeling is associated with it and vice versa. Between thought slash feeling and food and respiration, you've got the major control points for our hormones, and we control those control points, not your doctor. This is so important, this is so empowering, you guys. This is where we have power over our health. Our thoughts, our feelings, our food, and our respiration. This is such good news. If you are dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, this should be so exciting. It means whatever way, in whatever way your body is falling apart, via this hormone connection, we have control. You can fire your MD, as my friend Peter Glidden says. 